meet thousands of people, you meet every day, and none of them really touch you. But then one day you meet that person, your life's changed forever. But in that moment, I met my best friend, the love of my life and my soulmate. I've known your parents since birth, and they were best friends with my grandparents, and those are some of my most cherished memories. Joe, you are everything I ever wanted and needed. I prayed for so many things, and you're all of them. A godly man, a man of integrity, who not only can fix anything that breaks, but also fix my broken heart. You're strong, but tender. I prayed for a man with a sense of humor, and you make me laugh, even when I touch the darkest parts of humanity in my day, and give me strength to go on for another. You always make me feel safe and protected, and I love that you let me be just be. I love your mother as if she was my very own. And sometimes when I close my eyes, I still hear my grandma's voice, and it feels like coming home. I know today your dad's watching us right now, and so with my grandma and grandpa, and I know they're proud and blessed and grateful that we found each other and the love that we've always wanted. Our relationship for the first two years was long distance, which was hard, but I admired your beautiful sacrifice and selfless commitment to your family and to your parents even to spend the last latter days of your dad's life with him. I always respected your sacrifices, including to our country and to your family. Some of our best times were spent in a quick trip to Hayes, Kansas in a rundown hotel, enjoying every moment. I remember each night going to bed with my face hurting from laughter. You brought me the laughter I always needed and still do. <laughs> I will always cherish the memory of your dad kissing me on the cheek with each meeting and saying, Heather, you're easy to love. <laughs> Joe, you're easy to love, and so is your family. Heather Renee Heiser, how can I put to words my commitment to you? And I realize I cannot. So I turn to the oldest book on earth and take from the greatest author. Heather Renee, I vow to love you unconditionally. I vow to honor and cherish you always. And lastly and most importantly, I vow to truly love you as Christ loved the church, I'm willing to give my life for you as he gave his for us. Joseph Perry Andrew Carter, you're the finest, loveliest, tenderest, and most beautiful person I've ever known. But even that's an understatement. I swear I couldn't love you more, but I know I will tomorrow. Thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for making me smile like crazy. Thank you for making me happy. Joe, I vow to help you love life, to always hold you with tenderness and to have the patience that love demands, to speak when words are needed and to share the silence when they're not. Joe, for us, the two of us, home isn't a place, it's a person and we're finally home. In a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, in any version of reality, I find you and I choose you. I wish I could have found you sooner so I could have loved you longer, but I also realize that I appreciate you more because of the road I've traveled. My handsome Joe, I can't believe this day is here. It's so surreal and I can't wait to be your wife. I will never forget our first official date in Oklahoma City. Our first kiss, the t-shirt, I still have it. The laughter and going to bed with my face hurting from smiling and laughing so much. You make me so incredibly happy. You're the most amazing person and I'll never think about you. Joseph Perry Andrew Carter, from your name to your heart, to your humor, now you love me and call me baby. You're what I've always wanted in the world and more. You're my person. I vow to always be there for you, to love you fiercely, stand with you through everything. I love you, my handsome man. Can't wait to see you in a few minutes. I will meet you at the altar and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, making memories, having lots of adventures. The best is yet to come. Love you always and forever. Heather Heiser Carter. Grandpas don't cry. 
I'll tell you what. <laughs> this was the best wedding I've ever been to. <laughs> I love you, baby.